Welcome back, I'm AP and this is Rose Ed. Coming up, it's first versus second as Brighton travel to Norwich, where they're also trying to end Robin's career. Ah! So before we get into this episode, I just want to say that while starting a small YouTube channel has been great fun, it can sometimes be a little bit soul destroying when you've spent ages making a video and you only get like one view in its first 24 hours. Well, yesterday I got a massive boost when I got this comment from legendary YouTuber Spoony Pizzas, who I've been watching for years. I'm sure you all know him, but if you don't, he is the go-to expert for all things Pez. His guides and tutorials are second to none, so go and check out his channel if you haven't already. Thanks, Spoony, you legend. Following that incredibly frustrating match where we really should have won, we were so comfortable they provided no threat at all. But a Pepe own goal gifted them a draw. So we are now a point adrift at the top. But today's match is a top of the table clash against Norwich. So let's check our messages. Okay, they've agreed to the transfer of Kandemir. So we can probably go ahead and agree some of these players that we don't think we're going to use. But I guess we may as well wait until the transfer window opens just to be doubly sure we don't need them. So we've got Norwich and then a three day recovery for QPR and then just another three day recovery to Luton Town. Okay, let's see what the conditions are going to be like. Winter cloudy with rain. Ooh, that sounds horrible. Okay, the players are tired. Carnesis for the third game in a row is completely not up for it, but we cannot chance putting Mayer in against Norwich. Pookie would have a field day against him. So having come off two draws in games where we were leading that we should have won, we have really got to get back in the win column. This is a proper six pointer, top of the table clash, first versus second. But our team is tired. We've had to make a lot of changes. We've got Edder up front for Tevez. We've got Elia on the wing instead of Hoiberg. We've got Castledean in for Arcas. Rice has come in for Mbia. Gisi's come in for Pepe. We uh, Zerkov's out. Tashira's in. We really are tired here. So, Norwich get us away. I mean, we would love to win this match, but... I don't know, maybe a draw is going to be a, a bit more of an achievable goal, but we really can't afford to lose. So Vrancic out to Buendia. Byram goes inside to Buendia again. Norwich with patient build-up. Steepleman to Puki. Puki with a shot. Good save from Carnesis, and that's gone for a corner. So Norwich piling on the pressure early. Pookie is going to be a handful. He always is in the championship in particular. So Vrancic with the out swinger on his left foot. Gisi goes up for the header. It's for 50-50, but it... Oh! Norwich get a shot, Carnesis saves it, it spills again and finally Carnesis manages to gather it, that was dangerous. Robin gets taken out there but it's come to Edda, oh that's a terrible touch and a terrible pass but Tashira runs straight into trouble. Well, there was a, a tackle off the ball on Robin and... Um, I don't know if the ref, ref's going to pull it up for a card in a minute, but look, pretty nasty. So Buendia coming forward again. Goes into Puki. He's got a bit of space. Has the shot. Oh, it's a right pile driver, but it goes wide. So again, Norwich with a dangerous attack. Puki turns the opposite way to what we expect, and he absolutely slams that. There we go. Hernandez with a dirty tackle on Robin. Let's see the challenge. Ooh, really goes underneath him. Looks like Robin's knee might have connected with Hernandez's head. 
There's room here on the wing. Pookie is going to find... Well, no, he cuts back inside. Gets... Finds Steeperman. Steeperman with a shot. Oh, connected well. There's a lot of power on that, but it bends wide of the goal. Eli looking maybe for Ramel here. No, it goes inside for to Shearer. Edda can't get away, but that's a foul, I think, on Castle Dean. So this is a great opportunity. Probably in the perfect position for a free kick. I think, though, maybe we, we want to get a right footer on this. We've got the two tall defenders there. It's not going to suit Robin. So, Edder it is. There's a nice gap here. Try not to get too much power on it again, like we did last time. Oh. Well. I had two bites at the cherry there. The power was just over half and I wanted a tiny bit more, but then I went for too much and it's hit, hit the head of the wall anyway. So, Robin, in swinger. Can't get on it. To Shearer. Puts it back into Ramel. Ramel, nice little ball to Castle Dean. Castle Dean has a good effort, but it's parried out for the corner. So, Castle Dean's trusty left foot. He has got a good shot on him. Good power. Don't know if that was going in. I think it might have just sneaked inside, of the, inside the post, but it's a good save. Giorza are getting forward, leaving that gap there. That is the problem with having, having offensive wing backs. Oh, Gisi misses the tackle. Into Puki here. Oh, Puki with a little lofted pass, but Tashira cuts it out well. Oh dear, he's giving it away. This is very dangerous. Buendia. Oh, good tackle by Gisi. That absolutely saved our bacon there. My mistake. Tidied up by Gisi. So a liar now. Inside to Castle Dean. Can we find Edda? We can. Let's get a shot off. Oh, a quick shot, but it's saved. Not really much of the goal to shoot at there. A liar with a cross. Headed out, but only as far as Ramal. Ramal with a left-footed effort. Drifts well wide. Didn't really get a lot, a lot of power on that, and the accuracy was pretty wanting, but it is an effort. <laughs> it looked better than the end result. Gianulis. Skip inside to Steeperman. Puki. Whoa. Geesey's been doing great in central defence here, coming in for Pepe. Robin trying to get away from the defenders, but does well to hang on to it. And the ball is into Alaya here. Alaya with the right foot. Oh, it's in off the near post. What an effort by Alaya. So Alaya, he's gradually been getting better for us. And... Like Edda a few games back, it looks like Elia has now clicked with the team. What an effort that is on his right foot. Now, I can't actually... We haven't played Elia that much. I can't actually remember if he's actually right or left-footed, which I really should know. He plays on the left wing. Oh, what a strike. As he drifts right to the right side, that is a fantastic shot with his right foot. Look at this. Going wide. Absolutely sweet as you like. What a connection. I need to check if he is right or left-footed, but if he's left-footed, that's an even better goal, but I think he might be right-footed. So we need to bear that in mind in the future. So, another goal deep into first-time injury time. We've been scoring and conceding first-time injury time goals. Fortunately, it's us that score it. And really, it's against the run of play. We are lucky to be one up. We did have more possession. In fact, equal shots. We had the extra shot on target. Two saves apiece. So it's all to play for. Let's just check on Eli there. He is right-footed. Prefers left wing. Well, there we go. Let's cut inside more often with Eli when we get the chance then. Okay. Edo manages to pass the ball the correct way this match. Okay, and here is uh, our star player of the day, Elia. So, despite having a lot of... Oh, Edda with a chance, it gets blocked. So, despite having a lot of uh, our, our bench playing today, and with the likes of Rice and the team, we're doing okay. That's a nice ball to Edda. 
It's a good block by the defender though, but we get the corner. Let's not jump in. They've got it to Steeperman. Oh, and again, it's that man, Ramal. What a ball winner he is. So, Elia does well to hold off. Bursting forward now, using a bit of his speed. Gets it. Oh, oh he has got it to Edda. Let's go for the far post. Oh, Robin on his right foot. Oh, Robin clears up. Brighton 2-0 up away from home in this top of the table six-pointer. Well, good work from Edda there. I thought he'd uh, missed the chance, wins the ball back, cuts across, tries to go for the far post, and Robin tidies up on his right foot. Nice through ball from Edda, but it didn't really find Edda, but he wins it. Edda doesn't find the far post. Robin cut that back a bit close to the keeper, but it was on his weaker foot. So, 2-0 up. Back to Skip. Cantwell. Oh, little header from Pookie, but it's straight at Carnesis. So, Norwich. 25 minutes, sorry, 15 minutes to get back into this. Oh, nearly goes out for a corner. Oh, a bit of close passing there, but we get away with it. So, Rice finds Edda. Edda looking for the run of Robin. Robin is through. Can we get it onto the left foot here? Robin passes it past the keeper. 3 0 Brighton. Well, Robin kept his head, waited and waited for the opportunity to open up for him in front of goal. Finally takes the opportunity, passes it past the keeper. He's pretty close to the goal at the end of the day. Thought about shooting earlier, but sometimes it is just worth waiting for the right moment. There he goes, onto his left foot. That's the moment. Keeper no chance, really. 3 0 Brighton. Well, if we continue like this, we're going to retake the lead at the top of the table. There we go. So um, I need to check at the uh, transfer window mark what the um, score and assist tallies are for our team I'm not sure if Tevez or Robin are actually our top scorer and who's got the most assists I suspect that romel has got quite a few assists so Carnesis not up for it but he hasn't had to do much Castledean's very tired so let's bring in Arcas Robin's a bit tired perhaps we should save his legs we are 3-0 up so Let's save the other guys and bring Goyos on. Put Edda on the wing. He plays a lot better on the wing than he does as a forward anyway. And the Babkin in def defensive midfield is going to be probably a nice move as well to secure the defensive midfield area too. Go square to Vrancic. Vrancic with a shot. Good save by Carnesis. Parries it wide. And we clear it as far as Byram. Vrancic, good feet to get it to skip. Cantwell, looking for Puki here. Puki with a chance. Oh, it's a very weak shot. Puki really not on form today. Thank goodness. Good play here from Brighton. Let's get it up to Goyos. There's a run here from Alaya, but we're not going to be able to turn. And that's another dirty foul from Norwich. Captain gets a yellow. Not really uh, worth making that kind of worth making that kind of challenge with just minutes to to go. Whoa, that's a real ankle breaker. So not just Stoke that are playing dirty against us; it's Norwich now too. Here we go. Rice to Elia. Oh, he made a bit of space for himself, and he's drawn the foul. Nearly got it onto his right foot again. I think he would have absolutely wellied that one. Well, he's lucky not to get a yellow. Looks like Norwich venting their frustration. Whoa, right on the edge of the area. Maybe it was actually a good tackle, I'm not sure. Okay, we don't want Goyos on this. Let's get Edda with his trusty right foot. Can we get it between their heads? There's a little gap there. Oh, off the crossbar. Good effort by Edda. Didn't quite get it up and down enough, but... It was a good effort. So, to Shearer to Nababkin. 
Rice looking for players forward. It's found Edda. Edda gets bullied off, but he's got it back. Edda! 4-0! Well, what a result. And a six-pointer at the top of the table. Edda joins the party once again. And he can hit it with either foot. Took him a while to get going for Brighton, but now he's scoring for fun. Gets knocked off the ball, wins it back. Nice finish. Well, Norwich, they don't know what's hit them today. Brighton showing them who's boss. That's a nice finish. So I think Ed is pretty sure all his goals have come off of the right wing. I don't think he scored any from centre forward position. And here comes the rain. I'd feared that we might get rain early on, which is always really difficult to play in. But it comes late. There it is. 4-0 win. A brace for Robin. Great goal from uh, Elia. A goal from Edda. What a fantastic result. So Norwich actually edged the possession. But look at that. We've got 11 shots of 8 on target. A respectable 8 from Norwich. 5 saves from Carnesis. He gets a 7. And we've got some good scores here. Robin with a 7.5. Man of the match. Edda with a 7.5. Elia with a 7. All in all, a fantastic effort by our players today. So, Rotherham get a draw. Cardiff win. Stoke lose to Bournemouth. Brentford beat Preston. So, Stoke struggling a bit there. Huddersfield 4-0. Blackburn 3-0. Derby 1-0. Nottingham Forest 4-0. All in all, that is a wonderful day for Brighton. Two points clear at the top. Goal difference, look at that, 19 compared to 11 for Norwich now. Well, four-point gap from Norwich to Bournemouth, who have overtaken Stoke. It is all change at the top of the table. Things really getting interesting. There they are. Third from bottom. Point off the bottom two. It's good on Rotherham. So, Asia best player. I may have played for Barcelona, but it was always Guan Ju Evergrande that I always dreamed of playing for. Well, a great day for Brighton. We are going to be going into the transfer window, and I'm excited to see what changes we can make. It's going to be um, a very busy transfer window. That's going to do it for today's video. If you like this episode, hit that like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.